Good day, YouTube. One MJ here, and welcome back. All right, Monday, sort of, you know, morning uh, here in Australia. Obviously, Sunday night, sort of stateside time, uh, and the market is, you know, still staying above above that one point five trillion dollar level, which is good. But you know, we are getting closer and closer to breaking underneath that one point five trillion dollar mark. But look, it fluctuates again. It'll go up to one point sort of, you know. 7 8 trillion then come down to 1.6 trillion uh bounce back down to 1. Point sort of 5 trillion and bounce about now it, again it is sunday over in the state side time so that's usually when we see uh the lowest price point so what we're waiting to see is come sort of monday morning state side time so that'll be you know sort of uh tonight for us here in australia you know do we get that bounce back into you know things become you know go back into the sort of green I guess you know do things become a little bit more bullish now there's not really a lot of news stories that sort of come on Sunday so we're not going to focus on that today if you can already see we're going to go have a look at uh, some sort of chart analysis and have a look are any of the coins a good buy at the moment now you know there's more to just looking at charts that uh, will help you decide that but again we'll just have a look at sort of what the charts are telling us you need to make your own mind up because none of this is financial advice about you know where you feel the market is uh, in a whole kind of you know uh, encompassing sort of space not just what does the chart tell us you know what does the sentiment tell us you know what does this and that tell us you've got to make your own mind up because the true fact is no one really knows I can give you my opinion I don't think we're uh, in a, a bear market I think we are in a bearish trend and I get the feeling like maybe we've kind of hit the bottom of that. But I've been wrong before. I could totally be wrong again. Uh, so please don't take anything I say as financial advice. But anyway, let's just have a look at the markets at the moment. So again, 1.5 trillion still holding above there. Bitcoin dominance, uh, 43%. ETH dominance, 16%. And GUI, so ETH gas price is super low at the moment. Eight, very, very nice in those regards. But again that generally happens because things are a little bit bearish or not always completely bearish just they've gone quiet and the whole crypto space is definitely sort of quiet at the moment obviously not for those people who are in the market uh, but you know for people who generally aren't in the crypto market ever they're definitely not talking about it at the moment that's why you know sentiment is uh, fairly low at the moment but anyway let's move on we can see particularly over the seven days i mean look it just doesn't look pretty does it does it it's just red uh, and continues to fall 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 and fall again we've got some outliers so amp you know shiba inu uh you know there's a couple of things that you know randomly go uh against the grain but generally overall things aren't looking great you know but again we need to be mindful of that because here bitcoin thirty five thousand, and over the last seven days it shows that it's basically a big uh, fall off but that's because it was higher in the seven days sort of previously so it really is ranging and again we'll have a look at that but let's have a look has anything done well in the last 24 hours we know amp has been doing all right uh, there we go sushi up 12 percent thor chain nice waves yearn finance Ave, and again these are just in the last 24 hours though you still generally go across to the seven days and you know things aren't looking oh so pretty i mean the crazy thing is ave was once worth 600 and something dollars so it's literally at 50 percent discount uh from its you know old all-time highs uh the graph making a bit of move compound look chain link synthetics network there's a whole stack of coins i mean you know synthetics network it was literally worth i think about 28 dollars so nearly a forex to its old all-time high and again we're going to get into the charts and have a look so we can see that there's some you know some coins that are moving uh, upwards but again that's just the last 24 hours but is that a sign that people are getting in on the sunday getting ready for the monday pump who knows we'll have to wait and see all right what hasn't done well so again clayton down you know internet computer wow i can't believe this was yeah it was all the rage for a while and it has just dumped massively yeah unbelievable how much that has fallen but anyway it's not the only coin that's fallen a ton of other coins uh, have fallen uh, we can see nexo safe moon horizon look no kind of major losses though 
like in the top 100, the biggest loss in the last 24 hours is obviously, you know, 4.7%, which is not a lot. Whereas the, you know, top gainers, we had a couple of double double digit gainers. So it definitely feels like from this sense that the market's starting to pick up a little bit. And, you know, again, tomorrow and the following days and things like that are going to tell. All right. So what I want to do is go have a look uh at how some of my favorite coins and my best performing coins are currently doing and are they a good buy all right so let's start with uh, ethereum now this is uh, ethereum versus the us dollar now look if we just zoom out ethereum's been going up for a really really long time now this doesn't show at all this is just showing since uh, august last year but i mean ethereum i think it came out at 15 cents or something like that in its ICO and it's currently trading uh, at $2,200 so it's a general up general upwards trend but what we can see is that it has started to kind of use use some old resistance so this was resistance resistance became support 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 and then it is wicked down and look it's dipped below these old supports but it's only wicked down then what we can see is some other old resistance points it's become support support our ultimate peak basically support again again there was a close it didn't actually close below there it just you know the body sort of formed below but we can basically call that support support look what's happened here support so really it's that kind of 21,000 sorry 2,150 ish dollar mark seems to be holding pretty well at the moment so on the dollar value it really does feel like maybe that's not a bad buy now again there's no guarantees in life things could turn around tomorrow and I'm not offering you financial advice I just get the feeling it's bounced off here a number of times that this is looking like pretty good support at the moment but Again, if you think that you know things are going to get worse before they get better, then it's not a good buy point for you. Then you need to wait. But for me, I just get the feeling like you know, two thousand one hundred dollars was a pretty good buy point, and that's where I bought some a little while ago, back around sort of here, twenty third of you know May ish thereabouts. And again, it's just because it's bounce at first. This is what we call you know the old uh, flip of resistance now becomes support. So resistance, resistance resistance kind of yeah still sort of resistance and then we flipped it support 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 you know stayed above it support and now we're really just sitting on there so again we'll have to wait and see but for me ethereum looks like it's holding pretty strong at the moment against that sort of two thousand one hundred dollar level right link so this is link against uh, USD, so against the dollar. Now we can see it's been in an upward trend for you know forever and a day, basically since December 2017. Uh, it's just been kind of going upwards, and it's really been one of those coins that is it's outperformed, you know, a lot of other coins, and particularly Bitcoin, because remember this is a you know during the, the, the peak so this is december 2017 when bitcoin got to its peak uh, and then january 2019 where the altcoins got to their peak and then this is the bear market so it really didn't go down all that much i mean it went from a dollar 47 and made it down to 16 cents don't get me wrong that's a big dip but that was all sort of short-lived it only took a few months and then it just basically started to trade upwards again. Whereas, you know, Bitcoin and a lot of the other altcoins, they went down for, you know, months and months, uh, if not even longer. So again, trade it down, but this is the average line. We can see it keeps bouncing off this. At times, using it as resistance, 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 support, 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 resistance sort of a bit of a resistance support so this is the mean line and what we can see at the moment is generally this line is a good buy point generally now again you can buy it here and it can dump down but it'll come back and keep retesting it and then there's times where it stays above it so at the moment what we can see is against the dollar look where it is it's very close to this line now it's a little bit above it and again it's not to say it can't dip down further but generally it doesn't trade too far away 
from this line. So if we just use this line as a guide, and that's all it is, again, never financial advice, just a guide. If you're buying around about where this line is, you're generally gonna do pretty well. If previous history, you know, dictates uh, how our future will be. And again, it's not to say you buy here, it can't go lower. So you could have bought it at 24 cents and it dipped down to 16 cents. That would have hurt a little bit, but then it came back up over here and then got to 27 cents and then dipped, you know, all the way down here back to 18 cents and again, but then it got up to here, 35 cents. The general trend since its sort of inception is it continues to go up. So all I'm looking at here is again, according to the US dollar chart, it's looking like it's not a bad place to buy. Again, not saying it can't go lower. Again, you know, you could have bought here and then you're gonna see this kind of dip, that would have hurt. But basically you bought here, so what is this? The 4th of March, uh, sorry, the 2nd, 4th of March, 2020. You only had to wait until July. So March, uh, June, sorry, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, a couple of months, and then you've never seen prices that low again. And really, in a couple of months, that's not too bad. Sometimes it can take much longer in stocks and things like that for you, you know, particularly if you buy at a peak for it to finally get back to there. So a couple of months, not so bad. And again, I mean, what's this price here? Imagine buying Chainlink at $5. Considering right now, it's still trading at about $21, that's a 4X. And that is only from sort of March last year. So in a year, you've forexed your money. That's not too bad. So again, we're just using this as the median line. At the moment, chain look doesn't look too, chain link doesn't look too bad against the dollar. Again, not to say it can't go lower, not to say it maybe doesn't come down and you know test twelve dollars or something like that. Because again, that's where we've got some sort of you know confluence here. You know, old support and uh, resistance and things like that. You know, I'd really be thinking more somewhere around about sort of this sixteen dollars if it was to dip. But again, no guarantees. It definitely could come somewhere further down here around 12, but not too bad. All right, link against BTC. So again, we can see it's been on this upwards trend for a really long time against Bitcoin. And then we had this big, massive peak. Then we had this kind of, you know, so this is the blow off top. And then it really fell down against Bitcoin. And now it's just been in this ranging motion. And again, what we're looking here is this old support uh, uh, resistance has been support a number of times. Uh, a bit of support there, support, 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 resistance, resistance, support, support, and now have a look where we are. Still sitting above the line, but generally holding pretty tight around here. So again, chain link at the moment on the dollar value doesn't look like a bad buy, not to say it can't go lower, but also against Bitcoin, not looking too bad. Again, not to say it can't go lower. Everything is still gonna be based around Bitcoin and what Bitcoin's gonna do. But at the moment, you know, on probabilities, it doesn't look like it's that bad. But again, that's all dependent on whether you think the market's going lower. If you think the market's going lower and way lower, then this is not a good buy, buy point. If you think the market is just stalled out for a little while, and getting ready to go higher, then this might be a great buy point. Again, you make your mind up. You know, if you've watched my videos, you know that I'm buying at the moment, mainly focusing on Bitcoin and Ethereum at the moment, but I still do dabble in altcoins, uh, you know, every now and then. If I just see something hit a point where I think that's a pretty good buy, then I'll buy a little bit. But yeah, mainly focusing on the big caps at the moment. But I do get the feeling like, you know, something may happen soon. So I still, like I said, will dabble into some altcoins here and there if I think they're at a good price. All right, synthetics, uh, perfect example. Here is where synthetics has been since, you know, January 2019, on average against the dollar. So really, whenever it's at the bottom of this trend, it's generally a great buying point. Now again, past doesn't always dictate the future, but it quite often rhymes. So again, buying down here, massive upside. Buying down here can still be pretty good. Again, this is generally the mean right here. This is kind of the average, but then it pumps up. Buying down here, great buying point. Buying down here, great buying point. Now look what we can see here. We've actually broken outside of this general upwards trend. And again, it's done this before, and I'm not saying 
you know, synthetics network can't go lower, it could. But for me at the moment, I'm looking at this and I'm going, this is probably going to be a great buy. Can it not come down and, you know, test some things like this? Absolutely. And buying at $8.37 is going to hurt if it goes down to $4 something. It means I could still lose 50% of its value. But it's a, you know, it's a probabilities thing for me. And I just look at this. This has been the history since back in 2019. The general trend is up. So for me at the moment, I'm looking at Synthetics Network and I think Synthetics Network is a, is a great buy. That's my personal opinion. That is not financial advice. You work it out for yourself. How is it trading against Bitcoin? We can see it's got a bit of a history of it'll find an old all-time high. I sort of over here and start to use that as support. So what was once resistance becomes support has a big breakout, an old all-time high. And again, they don't have to be thereabouts. When it comes to charting, it, you know, these charts don't have to be kind of micro millimeter perfect and all the rest of it on the macro scale. On the micro scale, different sort of thing. You know, when you're going down into the five minutes and the hourlies and things like that, I don't touch that kind of stuff. I'm a macro investor, not a micro investor. I just look at old all-time highs and generally their support thereabouts. Again, you could move this up a little bit higher if you wanted to, to sort of here and it would still play out. So again, we grab this and then we put this up to here. It still plays out. It's thereabouts. It's just not exact. But what I did was move it down where we generally have the most sort of confluence. So now again, an old all time high, you know, it dipped below, but support, 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 support. Not quite stayed above it, but now look where we are. So this is Synthetics Network against Bitcoin. We just looked at it at the dollar. It is now using previous resistance as support where it's used it as support a number of times. So I just get the feeling at the moment, Synthetics Network, again, not financial advice. My personal opinion, I think this looks like a really, really good buy. You make your own mind up though. Aave, all right, Aave we don't have a lot of history on because it was Len before, but this is how it's performing against the dollar. You know, November last year, it was about $27. It's now trading at $270. So it's done a 10X and look, it's been even higher. Again, it got up to something like you know, nearly $700. So $700 uh, down to sort of, you know, $300. Let's round it off. It's a 50% retracement. So not to say that it can't go lower. It absolutely could. Could definitely come down to maybe $190, $200. And there are people that are saying that. And then again, it could come down maybe even lower, maybe to $120 something dollars. You have to make your decision out of based on sort of probabilities. Does this look like it has turned old resistance into support? Resistance, support, 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 support. Now it wicked down, but we could still call it support, support, support. And now we are sitting right on that line. So again, not to say it couldn't go lower. It definitely could. And if it went lower, I'd really be looking for somewhere around about here. $200. But again, I don't know how to pick the exact tops. I don't know how to pick the exact bottoms. I just have to be thereabouts. And again, let's say it goes down to $200. From $270 down to $200, you've lost a little bit under a third of the value of it. But what is the upside? The upside is it goes from $200 back to $700 and maybe even higher. So that's the way I sort of, you know, work these things out is I'm generally happy to buy anything. As long as I've done some research, I'm happy to buy it when it's under its old, old all time high. When it starts to go into price discovery, I generally don't like to put too much into it because then I'm starting to try and chase pumps. I don't want to chase them. I want to try and preempt them. So again, Aave at the moment for me is looking pretty good on the dollar. Not to say it can't go lower, and again, it could go much lower. There's every chance it could come down to, let's say, roughly $100. And say, so, yes, that's going to hurt. But I haven't bought a whole lot of Aave above this price. I have bought some. I'm not saying I haven't. I've generally bought a lot more of my Aave sort of down around here, $130, sort of $200 range-ish thereabouts. So if I buy some more at $270 and it goes down to $200, I'm not losing too much. And again, even if it ends up going down to here and gets to that kind of $100 level, 
I'm just going to buy more. I fundamentally believe in it. It looks good. Let's compare it to Bitcoin. All right, how's Aave doing against Bitcoin? And again, we see a pattern. Old all-time high becomes support. An old all-time high becomes a bit of resistance, also becomes support, bounced off it. An old all-time high, so was resistance, support, support. Break down below it, resistance, 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 support, support, support. Again, still sort of support, wick down below, support, and look where we are. We're sitting right on this line at the moment. So again, it's all about you know probabilities and where you feel the market's going to go to, not where I feel it's going to, not where someone else feels it's going to, where you feel it's going to. And I feel this market's going way higher on a macro level. On a micro level, absolutely, we could go lower. And if I buy Bitcoin here, and then it comes back down to test here, so be it. I'm not in this for how much money I'm gonna to make tomorrow, how much money I'm gonna make next month, how much money I'm gonna make in the next year. I'm here for how much, and again, I don't like the term money because fiat is money. And I believe that is dying very, very fast. I believe how much is this going to help me in the next five to 10 years? Excuse me. And in five to 10 years, you know, I can't tell you what price Bitcoin's going to, but I get the feeling like five to 10 years, it's probably going to be half a million to a million. That would be my guess. And that's all it is. It's a very rough guess. So if Bitcoin goes to somewhere between half a million dollars and a million dollars, how much higher does this go? Again, at the moment, Aave is trading around $200. How many X's is it to get Bitcoin from, let's round it off to, you know, 35,000 to a half a million dollars? Well, it's well over a 10X to then get to, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, half a million dollars is well over a 10X to then get to a uh, million dollars. I mean, you know, 20, 30, 40X. And if Bitcoin goes up 20, 30, 40X, then any good coins, and again, it's got to be good. If you don't like Aave and don't believe in it, then it doesn't matter. I do. If Bitcoin is going to possibly 20 to 30x over the next decade, then this is probably going to near 100x, if not maybe even 150x. Now, again, no guarantees. If you don't like Aave, don't believe in it, don't invest in it. I like it. I believe in it. I think it's got long-term value, and that's what I'm looking at. I don't care if the price goes down another 50% from here. I'm not too worried about that. Again, I'm not putting my entire life savings into Aave, even though I really, really like Aave. But if it goes down 50% from here, I'm buying more. It'll just bring my average buy-in price down lower. I believe in 10 years' time, it's going to be worth a ton more. So again, Aave is looking pretty good at the moment. All right, ETH versus BTC. So we looked at the dollar value before. We can see... Uh, old sort of support became a little bit of resistance for a while and then it sort of became support again and it's just been support ever since now we can see here an old resistance point and again it even became sort of support and resistance here is now exactly where we are and look where our old uh, resistance point was another sort of support and resistance level. So again, this is against Bitcoin. If you believe in Ethereum and you think it's got long-term value and you know Bitcoin's going to the moon, then don't you think Ethereum's gonna go with it? And at the moment, it is just ranging. And again, using support of some old sort of resistance points. So again, for me, I think Ethereum still looks really, really good and it's just bouncing between the two. So we had that breakout. Boom, got to that uh, old sort of support resistance, used it as resistance, came back, found support off our breakout point. And then we came up and basically bounced off here again. And now we're again using this, you know, resistance uh, as support. So again, for me, you've got to work it out for yourself. I can't tell you what you should do. I can tell you what I'm doing. And again, this is basically Ethereum sitting around 2100 at the moment. I get the feeling like it's a good buy, but please don't take my advice, and it's definitely not financial advice. Work it out for yourself. This is what I'm seeing on the charts. And again, the charts don't tell me everything. It's based on a whole stack of different things, how I feel the sentiment is in the market and things like that. And in all fairness, when sentiment's really, really low, 
that's generally when it's the best time to get in, in my personal opinion, because everyone's given up on it. There really is not a whole lot of downside from there. Hardly anyone's left. Those that are left are the people who really fundamentally believe in it and aren't just trying to flip things and make a million dollars overnight from a hundred bucks. This is the people who fundamentally believe in the space. They haven't given up. They're not worried about the fear and greed index. Let's quickly have a look at that. Where is the fear and greed index at the moment? I haven't actually looked at it. It could be a little bit greener than what I thought, but it's generally been pretty red. All right, can't get that at the moment. All right, no worries. Uh, we'll see if we can refresh that. Is that going to work? No, it doesn't want to work at the moment. All right, we'll come back to that later. But anyway, things are looking pretty good for me on the Ethereum front. Matic, Polygon, again, this is the US dollar. So versus the dollar, we can see this is the medium. So we use support, support, resistance, bit of resistance, sort of, uh, again, we broke through it, came back a classic retest. So breakout, classic retest, broke out, classic retest, broke out, broke out retest fell below tested it broke out so this is against the dollar value how polygon is going at the moment and what we can see is it's got this classic sort of wedging structure coming on right now and it is below the average mean of its us dollar price so again that doesn't mean it can't go lower it absolutely could or just travel sideways for a really long time like it did here sideways sideways bit of sort of sideways a lot of sideways but on average, it's looking like it's a pretty good buy at the moment. All right, Matic versus BTC. Now, this is very, very interesting. So again, this is from when it really started to break out, February 21. Breakout uses old uh, resistance as support. Breaks out, use old uh, sort of resistance over here as support. Breaks out, uses old resistance as support, and it traveled ages for ages and ages and ages against this now again this is a against bitcoin now start to look what happens though because these look pretty big right here all right let's close these way down again an old sort of uh this wasn't quite support resistance but it was sort of thereabouts again we had a bottoming formation there broke out Now look where we are. An old sort of resistance point. We did have a fake out to the low side, broke back above, and now look what we keep doing. Used it as support. And now we are sitting right on this mark here of the old Bitcoin resistance point. So could this go lower? Absolutely. Again, maybe comes back down to here and we have to do a whole lot of this. But at the moment, it really does feel like somewhere around about the end of the July we should get a sort of breakout but what we need to do is go back to here particularly this one this traveled sideways against Bitcoin for okay what was this date 11th of March really we can sort of go to around about here to the 23rd of April so a full month that traveled sideways so again for me at the moment things are looking pretty good on some of these altcoins but again that doesn't mean the market can't go lower. All right, ADA, how is Cardano doing? This is what it's done since the pandemic last year against the dollar. Support, 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 support. We had a bit of a breakout. Uh, support broke below, so we stayed below. Again, this is still generally traveling up against the dollar. It's just not keeping pace with its average sort of mean. Resistance, resistance resistance and then it became support and boom look at this we keep jumping up uh, support 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 and look where we are right now sitting right on this line now I get the feeling like it might be a pretty good buy not to say it couldn't go lower it absolutely could but maybe it just sort of travels sideways for a while before it then starts to make a big move up and starts to jump up against here. Let's have a look at Adaverse Bitcoin. So again, this is its history. Boom, we had this big breakout. Now we can see the ranges that it's traveling in. It does feel a little bit like Ethereum at the moment. Boom, old sort of uh, support becomes resistance, but then we're coming back and testing 
old resistance as support and so we're just kind of ranging in this motion and uh, in this sort of area at the moment so for me i think it looks pretty good again not to say it couldn't go lower but as long as it's within this range i get the feeling like it's going to break out and have its next big move up but maybe this is this it just doesn't look like this and that's what you can see when you get general peaks big peak huge drop off big peak huge drop off big peak huge drop off peak drop off we just never really sort of saw anything like that and again this is it's coming back and trying to retest these things so that's why i'm still very bullish on this market uni all right against the dollar uni doesn't have a lot of uh, sort of history to go against the dollar it's still fairly new but what can we see here old support and resist old resistance becoming support fake out to the low side broke back above and now we're trading here now again it's not to say this couldn't go lower this could definitely come back down to somewhere around about here so it could come down to nine dollars and that would roughly marry up with this old all-time high back in uh, September last year so definitely possible but again uni still very new it doesn't have a lot of history for us to go off I really like the project and everything it's about so at the moment it is looking like an okay buy this doesn't look as good because we don't have enough history to sort of go by and you know it's average sort of mean price it's definitely broken below so again the mean would have been from sort of here you know you travel roughly sort of through the middle here so it feels like it's undervalued at the moment but again we'll have to wait and see just not enough history same with when we go against Bitcoin look where we are old all-time high roughly kind of there about support but I'd be really using more of this this is where we've got a lot of confluence at the moment so what we can do is go here horizontal line now this is really where you can see we have a whole lot of confluence hereabouts so again resistance support break below resistance break above support 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 stayed above it but pretty much support 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 stayed above it and we had this big breakout bang big massive drop off against bitcoin support and now we're just kind of in this kind of ranging motion but are we now starting to use this old kind of you know support resistance is this now the new flip before it makes its next move support 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 a uh, bit of resistance and support 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 again breakout at the moment it looks pretty good dot let's have a look all right again not a lot of history but don't these two look very very similar the dot and the uni bright one again this is against the US dollar traveled sideways for a long time big breakout and then we started to come back but look where we are basically using some old resistance as support not to say this can't go lower again maybe down to here so maybe we get to $17 maybe we come down here to $10 and where is $10 you know thereabouts <sighs> half price from where we are so again that could hurt that could really hurt but do you believe in dot long term if so and you think Bitcoin's gonna maybe go to half a million dollars or a million dollars one day what does that do to a $20 dot now I bought a lot of my dot uh, at lower prices I, you know I was lucky I got in at sort of five uh, ten dollars and things from there so I'm not really worried if I buy some at 20 and it does drop down to you know sort of ten nine dollars most of mine was bought under that price anyway and again it'll still just lower my average sort of buying price from its old all-time highs all right dot against Bitcoin again look at this old resistance support 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 fake out to the low side uh, again a little bit of a breakout and here we are basically just retesting old resistance but flipping it and using it as support so many of these coins at the moment have the possibility to look really really good but again they also have the possibility that maybe they're coming back down here and maybe this is about to turn into this I just don't get the feeling like that's what's going to happen engine again this is the average price so you get into the nft space you know it was really hard to uh, sort of map this one out but again i've just tried to find the mean where it's had the most touches 
to both the upside because you know you could run this line up here but then it just says uh, you know engine is completely undersold so again we just find the mean here's the mean stayed way above it we can see resistance 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 sort of dip below but now support 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 and now we're traveling underneath so engine doesn't look too bad it there's not you know a lot of confluence here unfortunately uh, and you know it hasn't been around for that long but let's have a look what does it say against Bitcoin this is more interesting when we go against Bitcoin resistance becomes resistance and support over here and look where we are now broke above basically support 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 fake out to the low side breakout boom sitting basically on old sort of support and resistance levels now again that doesn't mean this couldn't go lower unfortunately we definitely could come back down to here where we've got some more confluence but it just looks like the market is going into an accumulation phase things have gotten quiet uh, and the markets you know not doing too much but you know what I think anyway is the smart money is probably accumulating around about here you make your own mind up all right V chain again the average have a look at this against the dollar support 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 breakout support support uh, resistance stayed to the low side boom used it as resistance boom used it as resistance but what's the overall trend for V chain against the dollar going up breakout support support break down below big breakout support 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 couple of fake out support and now according to this we're actually under the mean price so for me or the average price whatever you want to call it looks pretty good again not to say it can't go lower maybe we've got to come down and you know retest some of this so you know maybe six cents possibility but on a probability sort of uh, you know point of view it's undervalued doesn't mean it can't go lower maybe we have to come back and retest this I don't know but I'm happy to buy I bought most of my uh, v chain you know for a lot less than what we're kind of buying it right now I was buying it you know sort of way back here well under a cent uh, I haven't really you know continued to buy v chain uh, but I probably should have but at the moment that's all I'm thinking of is considering how sort of well it's done it might be so might, might be the time for me to buy in all right against Bitcoin again starting to look the same we can see old excuse me support and resistance levels get used again support support was resistance over here resistance over here broke out lost that but then started to use this old resistance points as support and then we just move across here and look where we are right now we are basically lining up almost sort of perfectly with this an old resistance point seems to be like seems to look like it is now holding as support so again this is all based on if you believe this one Bitcoin this is what we really need to focus on if you think sorry we got to go back to log and I've lost all of this all right sorry lost all of this I don't know what happened there oh god anyway I'll have to come back and fix that Bitcoin is just ranging at the moment using old support sorry old resistance because it's been some resistance down here support 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 could it go lower and break down to here could but I think Bitcoin's going to go up and that what's that is what makes me still super bullish about the altcoins again at the moment I really just need to see what Bitcoin's doing before I'm gonna go too crazy on any of these alts but a lot of those alts at the moment are looking super juicy all right look that's it for me again none of this is financial advice you make your own decision you've got to work it all out but I just like where things are at the market I like that it's quiet and people are really really panicked and everyone's expecting it to go lower that's generally when Bitcoin likes to get up and say hey you don't know what you're talking about and goes much higher but again not always sometimes it does exactly what people are thinking and when people think it's gonna go lower it does go lower all right that's it from me stay safe be kind to one another if you're on that gain train at the moment congratulations to you and I'll see you next time